Hey, what's up, Cardinal Signs? Happy motherfucking Monday, or whenever you find this. Welcome to your April 19th through the 25th, 2021 readings, or whenever you find these. This is going to be a reading for Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn, my Cardinal Signs, our initiators, our starters. Let's motherfucking get into this. Remember, these are general readings, so if you're looking for a private reading, you can hit the link in the description below. Uh, where you can find booking. Also, I am still offering through the 21st of April the 2121 readings that are $21.21. And uh, you hit me up at Instagram at grateful underscore Drake. DM me. Uh, you can shoot over link in bio, the payment of $21.21. They are mini readings, so you do get a personal private mini reading. They're about 10 minutes long. What else can I tell you? You get an unlisted YouTube link. That way you can go back to it at any time. So those are pretty cool little deals there. I'm going to remind myself to breathe. You're the first reading of the day. So the first, maybe sometimes the second reading of the day, I'm kind of like, uh, I'm kind of wound up and kind of like, you know, tense and stuff. Like in a good way because I'm excited and I'm like trying to get in the flow. So um, please remember... To like my shit, friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment if you can. Share and subscribe, of course. I think that's all I have to say. This week, I'm going to try and go a little bit more in depth. I did a reading for myself uh, that was a little bit different last night. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try these on them. Okay, so let's go, guys. Cardinal signs. We're going to start with these astrology cards. <sighs> Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Okay, so I'm using these astrology flashcards that um, I'm practicing with myself. You guys got locomotive chart. So this is a chart that has um, your placements are kind of scattered around the edges like this. Or not the edges, but they're kind of like, you know, a couple in this house, one in this house, one in this house. Kind of fairly um, evenly spread. Let's read the definition here. With planets in two-thirds of the chart, you will find this pattern. So, um, self-motivated, confident, focused on achievements and ambitious describes this person. They may also be contribute, contributor, contributors to society. However, there is a tendency toward being self-centered. So cardinal signs, um, for sure, right? So, um, we are so, I think, so focused and driven that sometimes we can forget, um, maybe about the needs for, I'll speak for myself of the immediate, of my immediate surroundings, my kids sometimes. I'm always prioritizing making sure they're good, right? But maybe sometimes because I'm so focused on my goals that like my attention span isn't necessarily completely present sometimes in the home. Um, this also says the best careers for this type include business entrepreneurs, actor or actress, humanitarian or politician. Okay. The second card you guys got is the 10th house. So this is the house of career. We got two cards that both really kind of come together and blend really well. This is also the 10th house is ruled by Capricorn. So a lot of Capricorn energy coming in here for this cardinal reading. Capricorns are um, <clears throat> we're really driven, but also what I like to say about Capricorns is we like we take our time, but we're very thorough, right? We're very thorough, and things may, from the outside, appear that Capricorns are taking a really long time to do something, but that's because we thorough as fuck. Okay, keywords for the tenth house. Public standing, social status, profession, publicity, goals, public image, reputation, ambition, drive, material attainment, social power, focus, success, position. Look at this house for your career and social status. It will show you your goals and ambitions. Okay, so interesting. So we're really looking at issues in career, how we're showing up in the world, the things we're accumulating, 
uh, what we're doing with ourselves to kind of make a presence, to put a stamp on the world, okay? Let's jump into the tarot. Okay, there she is. And I just reset her last night. I know, I know, I'll be telling you guys shit that like, honestly, you don't. I put, I just, I cleaned her up. I, I cleansed her. I zhuzhed her up. Making sure she got fresh energy. You see, I got my nails done. So, <clears throat> my shuff, my shuffles, uh, <laughs> got to change up the shuffle. Ace of Wands reverse, guys. So, we're looking at um, feeling maybe that we don't have enough power, energy, or drive to get some of these things done. Especially with this spread these first two cards coming out the way that they were with a heavy emphasis on our careers and how we're making a stamp on the world. Just looking at the cat, she's staring at something like, like something's there, but I don't see it, but she sees it. Okay, so here's the situation at hand. We have Page of Cups is um, also <clears throat> possibly somebody water sign, um, but this card generally talks about um, opportunities and offers, uh, proposals coming in, somebody coming into your life or some situation that is present in your life that um, is beginning to show you um, love and is beginning to show you a situation or something starting to unveil itself that um, would be a situation where you can tap into your sense of loving yourself or sense of love. Okay. Emotion page of cups representative of the water and emotion. However, what's crossing you is another cup card. You guys all got, you guys got cups kind of through this line here, through this row here, four cup cards. So kind of a, a strong, um, emphasis and cups on the bottom of the deck, which is like kind of what's hidden. So a strong emphasis on like cardinal signs. How are we connecting to our emotions at this time? How are we looking at um, ourselves? Is our cup full? Do we see our cup half full or half empty? How much are we loving on ourselves? How much love is present in our lives with partners? Um, are we letting ourselves feel things? Okay. There seems to be a lot of reason for celebration and joy in your life. Something is, is beginning to happen for you, but for whatever reason, you're still feeling like you can't maneuver. You're still feeling like um, you're somehow stuck, okay? I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some clarification cards. That's, that was the kind of added piece. Damn. I have to get my nails shorter next time, a little shorter. And I think I was going to go longer. Yeah, right, girlfriend. Uh, the Hermit. I'm going to put him back in, but also the card of Virgo. We're just looking at a time where it's really important. This is also, he's a teacher. He's a teacher of sorts, and he represents divine wisdom and the divine masculine as well. He is um, masculine, yet he's able to go within. So he's got this really nice balance of... Um, figuring out like when to retreat and when to step forward. He's also the oldest man in the deck. So we're looking at issues of like wisdom. And he's also, we also look at issues of time, father time, right? Things that take time, hibernation, stepping away, letting your intuition guide you instead of needing um, so much outside um, distraction, distortion, 
um, influence, okay? Um, this flipped over, Ten of Pentacles, which is super dope. Ten of Pentacles is generational wealth and abundance. So it does really feel that this spread, um, it's possible this it could deal with love. And I say that because we get some of the traditional love cards. We get the Two of Cups comes reverse. Also, Page of Cups talks about love. And also, the Empress can sometimes talk about love. She's ruled by Venus. Empress comes in your um, environmental factors. So, showing that the the time is right or the energy is ripe, the environment is ripe. There may even be love around you that could be soaked into. Uh, you may find that you're having enough time to even love on yourself maybe more time to love on the people's that on to love on the people that mean the most to you okay ten of pentacles a very like familial family card as well as six of cups so definitely family issues so cardinal signs sorry my my incense is going cardinal signs uh, what are we doing in our careers and um for ourselves and how does emotion play a part in how to get ourselves really motivated in our careers. How are we balance, balancing family life, career life, <clears throat> and personal life just within myself? How do I feel today? How am I balancing all that? Okay, so let me do one last shuffle so I can do clarifications. <clears throat> Thank you to everyone that wished my daughter happy birthday. I still haven't gotten on Instagram and answered all the messages, but I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I just love you, so thank you so much. She turned 18 on the 17th of April. Okay. <clears throat> wow, you guys get the strength card twice. You also get queen of cups in the situation at hand here. Oh, man. be drinking water but I'm drinking all this coffee <clears throat> so your situation at hand we have page of cups crossing you is ace of cups so we see a situation where the your life is bringing in love and opportunities at this time but for some reason it's it's it may be for some of you guys too much you're feeling like it might be too much c coming in there might be too much that might be overwhelming me and when i pull clarification cards um it, either it's too much or you're you're not letting yourself enjoy it fully right um so maybe you're not really saying it's too much but for whatever reason you catch yourself like pulling back, um, not really um, <clears throat> letting yourself enjoy it. And when I pull clarification cards, we get three of swords, okay? So why, why, why is such a beautiful card crossing the situation? Ace of Cups is feeling overjoyed and, and letting emotion and love and opportunities flow into your life. But why is it the challenge position? It's because in the past you've dealt with some heartbreak, which is neat forced you to kind of step into this beautiful um, Queen of Cups energy, which is emotional stability and balance. And then we get the Strength card, which is Surrender. So in the past, there's probably been a lot of heartbreak, which has caused you to have to really look at how you, how you deal with your own emotions and how do you um, keep yourself grounded in times of heartbreak. Okay, and so maybe you're having trouble feeling these blessings coming in or enjoying what you have in front of you because you're still working on releasing heartbreak that maybe caused like emotional turmoil in the past, okay? The strength card is about surrendering and letting it go, okay? So we do definitely see like a situation where blessings are here, they're coming in. Um, I feel like you, you probably know what they are, but you're, you're hanging on to maybe old stuff from the past. Not only that, but when we move through the spread, in what's hidden, we get the strength card again. 
Okay, so this is what's beneath the surface, what can't I see, what's hidden, what's at the root, and we have the strength card. So we see her um, being quite graceful with challenges. We see her standing up it, tall and proud against adversity and, and letting things be sometimes. Sometimes the best move to make when things are really terrible and we feel sometimes the, the thing that the thing that triggers us to, to, to want to do the most is the thing that really needs us to just take a step back and, and chill out. Like there's nothing for you to do here. Okay. You need to just let it, let it ride and let it happen. What's crowning you? Eight of swords reverse. Okay. So tough energy, like look at all these blessings going on here, but yet we still feel trapped. And, um, eight of swords has an emphasis of it being kind of just in our head. Um, so yes, it might really, can't nobody tell you what you're feeling, right? Cause you really do feel trapped maybe, but, um, the swords are just kind of a reminder to be like, Hey babe, it is actually, you do have some control, some power here. Um, the power being in how we're seeing the situation and, and the root of it. I'm going to tell you a quick story. These readings are going to be longer than 15 today for sure. Um, <clears throat> so I was talking to a friend and they were like, wouldn't it be tight if you could deal with your baby daddy, you guys could come face to face and it would be like nothing. Like it would be as though um, you were just seeing some regular dude and um, there was no emotional attachment or no worry or stress or fear whenever you had to see him. Wouldn't it be great if you could just greet him and, and exchange the baby and there be no emotional tie to him. Wouldn't it be great how, how free you would feel, they were saying. And I was like listening and I was annoyed, first of all, because it was just rubbing me the wrong way. Even though I knew he was coming from a good place by saying this to me, I was still annoyed. I felt like he was judging me and I was kind of like agit agitated, right? That night, I was pulling cards for myself, and I got a card that said forgiveness. And I thought, forgiveness? I'm not like, I'm not in a weird space. There's nothing I need to forgive. But as I read, read into the card, I realized what it was talking to was the issue with my baby daddy, right? And there's a, t a ton of resentment there. Okay, why am I talking about this? It's because Eight of Swords is about perspectives. And I began to think, oh, this card must be about my baby daddy, right? And, um the forgiveness and I started to ponder on what forgiveness would look like and I'm like I couldn't I could not see even um an inkling of how to forgive somebody that betrayed me so deeply how somebody who violated my body violated my home violated you know what I'm saying I could not even like shift at all I felt stuck like this in a perspective I want to forgive him. Of course I want to feel free, but I could not fathom or wrap my brain around how to even where to start. But what the card talked about was sometimes forgiveness isn't about forgiving that person for what they did. If we look at it like that, we'll always stay trapped because if you, if you rape me, if you violate me, if you, if you hurt me with a physical object, um, I'm, and I'm always going to see it like that. So I'm never going to be able to forgive you. But what the card said is if you can look at forgiveness as, as an opportunity to explore where you were at, where I was at, at that time in my life, that I would let that person even get to me on that level more of a forgiveness and internal forgiveness to myself for putting myself in such a vulnerable position, especially, um, in my case, because I saw the red flags very early on and I ignored them. So in that moment, reading that card enabled me to shift my perspective just ever so slightly into something that I could begin to be like, Oh, I finally felt the chains being kind of released because I could understand then why these things happen. And it kind of opened, it cracked open the door for me to be able to forgive him because I realized we were co, co, um, 
co-contributors, right? I had shit that needed to be worked out. That's why I entered a relationship like that. He has, he has shit that, that personally he needs to work out that why he would take that opening and that vulnerability that I gave him to do the things that he did. So he's going to have to figure out his part. I have to figure out my part, which is why I even stayed for, why did I even engage in that type of relationship from the beginning, even though he didn't begin with those types of violations, right? So. I know I went all the way off topic. That's just how it is. Um, so let's keep going. So that's why I really want to talk about because I'm always talking about swords. And lately I've been kind of like looking at myself and listening to myself talk about the swords. And I'm like, how can we deepen the swords? Because just to tell you that it's just a change of perspective feels so fucking like <sighs> brushing it off, right? When it's so much deeper than that, it can take years <laughs> to shift a perspective, right? Because it's... It, it, it requires an openness to like kind of try on other things and try on other ideas, which, which can be very uncomfortable. So let's pull three clarification cards for your, um, crowning you position. Interesting. You guys get, you guys got two of pentacles, um, twice. Your outcome card is two of pentacles. Um, and then when I pull clarification cards for this, what's, what, what's, what are you aware of? What do you focus on? What can you see? This eight of eight of swords, we get nine of swords, two of pentacles, and page of wands. Okay, so this guy coming up again. So you feeling very much like you're trapped in a situation where you feel like you don't have a choice. You realize you're breaking patterns, right? Some of these patterns that we're breaking is even being able to enjoy the love that resides within okay and so it's 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 stressful it's keeping you up um it feels like a cycle that keeps coming back around uh but we end on page of wands which shows the 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 passion coming back in the excitement for this period of your life coming back in like a glimmer of hope right in your past position cardinal signs we get three of cups Okay, so a reason to celebrate for sure. There's been a reason to celebrate for sure. Ah. <laughs> uh-huh. Reason to celebrate for sure. Because in some relationship, even though um, there was some relationship, this could be relationship with self, but um, for some of you guys, it's relationship with you have, have had with somebody else. There has been a transmutation. There's been a, um, a bibbity bobbity booing. There's been some magic that you've had to implement to that felt kind of painful. That was definitely an ending, but the ending of this relationship, the ending of this cycle, see why you get three of cups is because spirit is excited for you because something ended, um, with somebody that you loved very much. If it wasn't with somebody that you love, it's it's the process within. There's some cycle with a process within that came to an end. You bibbity bobbity booed that shit. Maybe it was really painful, right? We get the death card. The first card was the lovers. Okay. So we get the lovers, ace of wands, and the death card. So in the past position, when looking for clarification for why, why is spirit celebrating? Why are they excited for you? They're excited because something came to an end and you knew you had to invoke your power to do this, okay? It took power. It took strength to do it. Painful, yes, but you did that shit. Your future position, we get two of cups reverse, okay? So just kind of showing the worry that, like, will I ever have connections with myself and with others that feel completely full and healthy, right? We've got the caduceus. Caduceus, I believe is how you say, right? In the center below the lion. So we see healing and health, issues with health, um, coming together, um, looking at ourselves as a mirror, okay? So whatever love we seek from somebody else or we yearn for from somebody else, whatever we feel like we're lacking from somebody else, we have a partner who's not showing up, it's always a reflection of how we feel about ourselves, especially when we're alone and we're yearning somebody. It's really about a reflection of needing more fulfillment from self okay because nobody else can really actually fill your cup you have to do that yourself um let's pull clarification cards 
Get your position. Ten of Pentacles again. Yeah, so any worry about, you know, finding health or healing with self or others in relationships, um, it's here for you, but you got to be able to kind of think big, dream big, and also do the work. Your first card is Ten of Pentacles, which is generational wealth and abundance. So future position, seeing these things coming in, but it's going to, but it's a 10, right? It's also Pentacles, which is earth energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, which we are slow movers. We're earth people, we're slow movers, so they take time. Also requiring you to dream big and think outside the box. And then <laughs> King of Wands in our future position, either somebody fire sign coming on in once we can really kind of think outside the box and dream big and do our work. Um, King of Wands for some of you guys might be a partner. For others of you, he might represent um, the creative and passionate drive that it would require to follow your dreams. Okay. <clears throat> In the energy you're bringing to the table, we got two of wands. So <clears throat> you guys got, I believe, three twos. Two, 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 right? Two, two, two. Let's look up angel number two, two, two. Excuse me. Um, just got distracted. Two, two, two. <clears throat> I open to the higher healing purpose for all my relationships. Wow including soulmates, twin flames, and other soul connections, and welcome an inflow of healing grace. That's right, I've looked this up before. I open to the higher healing purpose for all my relationships, including tw soulmates, twin flames, and other soul connections, and welcome an inflow of healing grace. <clears throat> so, that's what's going on right now. The ball is in your court. You have options in front of you. <clears throat> the energy that is around you the environmental factors is the empress this is you so um how do we shift into these energies we reconnect with our body we do things outdoors we love on ourselves we 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 ooze love for self okay um it also shows that the environment you some of you guys may even have somebody like this she's called the wife and the mother to lean on and to help you kind of cultivate these things. The hopes and fears is the fool card, right? Scared to kind of take this leap fully. He comes up right, so this is dope. So we do see you taking the leap, but it's still scary. Outcome card, two of pentacles. So um, kind of stuck here. Let's pull some clarification cards on the outcome card. Wow. Ooh, in the bottom, I just caught the bottom. Judgment. These are revelations. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we're looking at opportunities, moments to rise from the dead, to really heal, to really, um, some of you guys, reconciliations with people, um, coming back together. Um, you guys have needed a daunting, stressful period in order to find the healing. So somebody's awakening, somebody's beginning to see, somebody may be coming back to apologize. Um, so these are just, you know, going back to the past and readdressing issues from the past so that we can heal. This is the light bulb going on. This is an epiphany. These are revelations, okay? Outcome cards, we get the emperor, also the card of Aries, right? There's some Aries here, probably. We get Aries, the moon, emperor, the moon, and ten of cups. So we see drive motivation discipline he's also the husband and the father he's the mate of this empress so we're seeing a couple here um drive motivation determination great leadership skills but using that energy taking you through a period that feels more dark that feels kind of lonely but on the other side coming out on top with ten of cups right super dope energy um okay cardinal signs that's gonna do it for today these Okay, these are going to be 30 minutes today, I think, for most of y'all. Happy motherfucking Monday or whenever you find these. Please remember to tap in for those 2121 readings. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Please remember to like my shit. Share if you can. Subscribe, of course. Leave a comment. Leave a little heart. Let me know you're here. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one.